Hey, Tuesday is here and AutoWeek TV is back for another episode of High Octane News from the Car World. I'm Natalie and in today's show, we're going to tell you how Daimler gets smarter, why Porsche is slumping, and get this, Aptera is giving people their money back. It's all straight ahead. Plus, in just a little bit, we've got the latest on a sports sedan from Volvo. You'll want to stick around for that. Right now, here's the news. Mercedes-Benz has revealed a heavily revised version of the Smart 4.2 electric drive, boasting better performance and range. It gets a completely new driveline and will debut at next month's Frankfurt Motor Show. Speaking of Frankfurt, Porsche files must be looking forward to the next generation of the 911 that will be revealed at the show. That's one reason Porsche sales slumped 4% last month around the world, according to an Automotive News Europe report. Sales increased just a touch last month in North America, however. Like a lot of enthusiasts, we can't wait to see the new car. And California electric car maker Aptera is refunding deposits. The company has been forced to delay the launch of its electric and hybrid cars and now is having issues with its credit card processor. Now, we have a test drive report on the Volvo S60 in our design trim. Greg Migliori has the details. One of our West Coast editors, Barry Winfield, has had some seat time in the 2012 iteration of the Volvo S60. Not just any run-of-the-mill S60, this one wears our design badging. Quite well, in fact. But what does that mean? Well, the power is up to the tune of 325 horses. Torque is up, too. It now checks in at 354 pound-feet of twist. The chassis is upgraded, and it's stiffer. And this sports sedan rides on 18-inch wheels. Now, as any good R design car does, the S60 makes a not-so-subtle styling statement. There's a new front and rear fascia, a piano black grille, and a diffuser in rear. Now, Barry says it feels powerful. The six-speed automatic is solid, and there's a fair amount of feedback in the steering. It rolls with all-wheel drive, and it all can be yours for a touch over 43 grand. The verdict? It's an alternative, a decent one, to pricier options for BMW and Audi. Thanks, Greg. That's it for AutoWeek TV. I'm Natalie. Be safe and enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of AutoWeek TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.